Yo, what's going on boys? Today I'm going to be going for Ultimate Champion. I think I'm like five games off, but not going to lie, I've been watching a show and just kind of like letting the auto draft pick for me because I failed to pay attention. So I think I already have like seven losses. Not the best win rate. It's going to be like 80%, but not really too bad for the first day. Okay, I'm going to take the minor and the queen. This is so unlucky because there was one big spell and he got the first pick. So obviously he's going to take it. Takes the bowler too, so pretty good pick so far. No monk or lightning, which is why I took the queen. I'm going to take like the goblins and the log next. I could also take the snowball. Yeah, I'm going to worry about the log for later. I'm just going to take the snowball and the goblins right here. And he might take the log, seeing that I take the goblins. But I don't know what his win condition is going to be. It has to be a drill or a ram rider. I think that's the only win conditions he can go for. I mean, battle ram is really bad. I'm planning on taking expo, so... Yeah, I don't know what win condition he can go for. Maybe Gob Giant? Gob Giant would fit in pretty well if he took a Sparky. Eye Drag. Okay, that's going to be really annoying. I need an Ice Spirit in my deck, I think. Okay, let's go for a Zap as well. So I'm going to take my Ice Spirit, then I'm going to take the Knight over here to kind of like have some defense on my deck. And then last picks, I'm going to go for Axpo and a Log. Depends on what he does, though. I could also go for Furnace and Axpo. That would actually be pretty good. A spawner with an expo deck, not really too bad, but he does have a bowler, so I'm going to have to watch out. Guards, okay, you know what, I'm taking the log and the expo. Since I don't have a big spell, I might need two small spells. Okay, that's perfect, he took the hut, so I'm going to go for the log and the expo. Yeah, kind of a dumb move to pick the hut, not going to lie. I think he should have picked the sparky and the gob giant or something. But yeah, now he's not going to be able to defend my expo. I already have a really good matchup, even though I don't have a defensive building. I only have an expo. I already have a really good matchup, because you can't really pair any win conditions with that. He could go Gob Giant or like a Ram Rider, I guess, but that's not going to do anything. I have a lot of resets. I have an Ice Spirit, Snowball, and a Log, so this game might already be over. I'm going to go for a Miner. By the way, Miner is supposed to get nerfed in like the next few hours, so I'm really excited for that. Just going to Miner. I think it's still going to be pretty good in this game mode because Miner kind of like dominates this game mode, not going to lie. Going to go for a Queen to back to cycle and to defend the um, Mega Minion. Okay, that was a really bad play. I'm going to Goblins, then I'm going to go for an Ice Spirit. Pretty good Zap, I guess. He's going to get one hit, but I just got Expo here. Then I pop my ability on the Bowler and I get a Lock. He's not really going to be able to stop it. So I'm just going to go for this, then I'm going to go for this. And yeah, I think that's 30 game. Because, I mean, yeah, he has enough for eye drag. But what if I just snowball it? I get a fat lock. But I'm not going to overcommit and go goblins on the eye drag. Because I know he's one off um, Ram Rider. So he could play a card and play a Ram Rider with this. And that would actually be pretty hard for me to defend. So I'm going to pull this back with a minor. I'm going to save my goblins because I need it for the Ram Rider. I just realized he can't kill my goblins. So just going to be saving that the whole game. All right. HUD, so I think I have to wait for like two more um spawns and then I can go for like a log. Or is it one more? Yeah, I can probably log it out like in like five seconds from now, right? Yeah, I'm gonna log it out. I think it dies to that. Nice, okay, that was a good log. That was a really good log. I think I get one goblin hit too. Alright, that was really bad because I'm back to snowball. I think he did that because I played a log, but yeah, that's not gonna do anything, so... Just kind of fed my queen. That was 8 elixir. I spent um 8 elixir as well. But what was that poison? Oh my god. Yo, this game's over. Because queen's not going to die to a zap, right? Okay, I'm going to pop my ability. Now she's going to die to a zap. I'm going to go goblins. And he has no elixir. And yeah, that's game. Yeah, he knows it too. Nice. All right, really good pick on the goblins. The goblins like kind of dominated the whole game. Kill the ram rider. Get the whole tower. And like kind of force out like gob hut and stuff like that. So... That was really good, but yeah, this game's already over. Just gonna Ice Spirit. That's why you need to be smart when you're picking. Like, this guy could have gone for... Even though I took the Miner, he could have gone for, like, a really good Gob Giant Sparky deck. And there's no Rocket. There was a Freeze, but there's no Rocket on the pick. So he could actually make, like, a really good deck with it, too. But he just kind of missed out on that. I'm gonna pop my ability, and I'm gonna go for Ice Spirit on the side. Don't really have to um, Snowball the Ram Rider, so that's good. I could also try going in again, but I'm just gonna Snowball out the Hut. And I'm going to wait for the second hut, just going to mine it on the hut. And I'm going to go for a log, because that's way too many spare gobs that I don't want to have to deal with. Bowler in the back, okay. Can I ice spear? I think he's back to ram, so I'm going to have to defend. I'm going to axe on defense here, then I'm going to wait for the eye drag. Okay, let's go for the eye drag. So I'm going to go for goblins on the side, then I'm going to go queen, then I'm going to pop my ability here to kill the eye drag, and then just going to go for like a knight on the side over here to not let the bowler lock on the queen. And I ice spear on the ram. I'm going to log as well, and yeah, that should be game. Alright, 
So that's going to put me like four games off, but I'm only going to put two more. So I'm probably going to put the interesting ones. I'll see you when I find a game. Artem in a match. Hopefully I get the first pick. Nice. Okay, this is good. I'm going to take the minor. Poison's really good first pick, but I'm still going to take the minor because I can't afford letting him have the minor. Because if he has a minor with like snowball and log in the picks, I lose automatically. So I had to take it Um, fireball over a poison. That's not very good by him. But maybe he did that because I picked the minor and like poison wouldn't really like fit in the deck. Oh my god. Wait, I just realized there's no counters for the queen. Like no monk, no lightning. This E giant, but no, he picks E giant with um fireball and log. So I think I already win the game here. Queen's going to carry so hard. The three card cycle with minor poison spam is going to be so annoying for him. But let's see what he does. Pigs actually has a pretty decent pick here. If he goes for like a pigs Valk kind of deck, yeah, he took my Valk. I was thinking about taking a Valk, but he took it. So gonna have to find a different splash card because I know he's gonna go for pigs. I'm probably going to take the Snowball and, like, the Fire Spirit, too. Yeah, it does go for the picks already. That's kind of frustrating, but, yo, Furnace is actually really good. I could also do a Ghost or maybe a Baby Dragon, but for now, I think I'm going to go with the Furnace. I don't really see a counter for it. No EQ, nothing. Like, I took the Poison, he took the Fireball, so... Furnace, really good pick. I'm going to go for the Baby Dragon next. I'm not going to take the Ghost because... If I take the baby dragon, I force him to take the hunter and I get a lot of poison value. So, yeah, I think I'm going to go for that, but see what he does here, though. Probably going to go for, like, skellies or something to slow down his cycle. He needs an air card, too, so probably going to go for the hunter. I'm going to force him to take the hunter with that baby dragon, but see what he does. Guards, okay. He's probably worried about my minor, but I'm going to be playing minor poison the whole time, so I'm not really worried about the guards. Prince. Okay, I'm gonna have to take the skellies to counter that. Then I'm gonna have to go for the baby dragon like I've been meaning to. That's gonna force him to take the hunter and one more card. I don't know what it's going to be, but right now e barbs are looking so good for me. But depends on what he picks. If he picks like a balloon or something, I might as well go for like an air card. But hunter, okay. Uh, golden eye. Alright, yeah, I'm picking the e barbs. E barbs shred the golden eye and the valk and the prince. So I think I already have a pretty good matchup. I don't see myself taking any damage in this game. I have defense for everything. Um, furnace for the pigs, and then I have the baby dragon as the backup. I've got the skellies. Got the e-barbs. Queen obviously gets a lot of value, kills the hunter, and all this stuff. And then, yeah, miner just does a lot of damage here. I'm going to miner on this spot. I have the snowball, so you can't activate king. And I love that spot so much. Because if they play something in the back, it goes to this lane, and then you can just kind of poison with it. Or you can even go for, like, a card in the back or something. I'm going to furnace in the middle, then I'm going to skellies here to full counter the pigs and yeah should not be any damage actually gonna do like one or two hits because the right side tower was kind of locked on the guards for like a good minute but doesn't matter i'm fine with taking that one hit i'm gonna go for snowball on the hunter not bad didn't want a queen on that that would have been overcommit. and then he would just go for like a prince on the queen and then try to get back to pigs or something and i'm not back to skelly so that could have been bad but i'm gonna queen the back now though for that golden knight i'm gonna let it dash on my queen then i'm gonna pop my ability because sometimes if you pop the ability too soon it might go to the tower after like you let them dash so just gotta be careful gonna let it dash and then gonna pop there we go pretty good all right let's go for a prince in the back so he can't kill my baby dragon right now i'm gonna go for a baby dragon then i'm gonna go for like a furnace in the middle to try to get back to my skellies and then i'm gonna play it on the side to kind of stay unpredictable oh my god he did go for the prediction log i didn't think he would actually do it but i just wanted to stay unpredictable he actually went for it not bad for him i guess pretty good I'm gonna go for a minor on defense here i don't really want to e-barbs on it because i burned out my furnace so if he goes pigs i'm gonna have to e-barb snowball on it to not take any damage so there's that just gonna save everything for now um okay probably gonna pigs right about now right because furnace out of cycle so yeah, it makes sense for him to pigs right now. I'm going to snowball this back. And yeah, it should be no damage. E-barbs are so good. They're actually so good in this game mode. Okay, Prince. He's not back to guards, I don't think. So Prince is going to die on his side. That's really good. I'm going to go for a furnace again. Okay. Then I can baby drag in the back, go for minor, and then probably going to poison or something. I I'm going to baby drag up high. Then I'm going to go for like skellies on the side over here to not let it dash on the furnace. Nice, pretty bad dash by him. Then I'm going to go for a queen on the side as well. He's got to be fireballing the furnace, but he's kind of saving the fireball for something. I don't know why, though. I'm going to go for minor e-barbs because he played a fireball on my stuff. And yeah, I think e-barbs are going to be really good. 
Oh, he messed up the Valk. He actually played it too soon. I think he's in big trouble right now. Okay, E-Barb one shot. Not bad. I thought I was going to get way more damage than that for some reason, but only got one E-Barb hit. Not bad, though. That E-Barb hit does a lot of damage, so I'll take that for sure. Then I'm going to Skelly's on the pigs here. Perfect defense. Nothing he could do there. Absolutely nothing. But I did burn out my Skelly, so I'm going to try to get to my second set because he might go for like a Prince the back and then Valk with it and then try to go pigs opposite. That would actually be pretty bad if I don't have my skellies in cycle, but I think I can get around it. Gonna pop my ability, then I'm gonna go E-Barbs in the back split to bait out like a prince in the back one lane and then guards opposite lane. Then I'm gonna go for a baby dragon. He can't kill it on my side, by the way, which is why I'm kind of like abusing the baby dragon on defense. He's gonna have to hunter on defense though once it like goes to his side, but that's for later to worry about. Okay, fireball on the furnace and the tower. Not bad. He's finally making the good play. He should have been doing that the whole time, but yeah, it took forever. Okay, see what he does here. Gonna minor on this spot again, and then just gonna poison because he played the guards. Then I'm gonna pop my ability on the Valk, and then just gonna wait for the pigs. I think he might prediction fireball the furnace. So I'm gonna play this super high because I've been playing a lot of them low, and he's not fireballing, so I kind of get the feeling that he will. Nice. Good predict on that. Okay, that was really good defense. That could have been bad if he hit the fireball in the furnace, but I'm going to minor on the safe spot. Then I'm going to poison. I don't care what he places on it because I'm not going to get punished. It doesn't matter what he places. I'm just going to have to go for like a queen in the middle and then yeah, everything dies. I need him to pop the ability though. Okay, there we go. Just pop the ability. So I'm going to pop my ability now. Then I'm going to go for baby dragon in the back. I'm going to go for skellies in the middle. Then I'm going to furn. Okay, I'm going to have to minor on defense. Not going to burn out my furnace yet because what if it dies right now? And then he goes pigs gonna baby dragon again and he can't really do anything about it yeah this game's over he can't do any damage on me i'm gonna furnace super high to not let him have a fireball value then i'm gonna go for a queen the bridge i'm gonna poison then i'm gonna skellies oh no stay in the poison no okay i kind of messed that up uh gonna have to pop my ability here i kind of messed up the hunter because i thought i played the poison on time but i guess not gonna go for a furnace high Nice, good defense on that. Then I'm going to go for skellies in the middle. Then I'm going to go for a queen in the middle as well. Yeah, this game's over. I'm going to pop my ability. Then I'm going to go for baby dragon on the side. Going to snowball the hunter, the 1 HP hunter. Going to minor. And yeah, that is going to be GG. So pretty easy matchup. The baby dragon and the queen were such a good pick. Not going to lie. And the e-barbs too. They kind of helped out a lot. But the furnace, oh my god. Don't even get me started on the furnace. That was such a good pick. I'm like two games off, so see ya. All right, on to my last game here, facing boss. I'm going to pick the Phoenix. I want to kind of like spread out my deck pool. I don't want to just one trick minor the whole time. I mean, I could have picked the minor first pick, but I want to go for like a Mega Knight Prince deck with like a Mighty Miner in it and a Queen if that's possible. But yeah, we'll see how that goes. He might take the minor poison knowing that I didn't take the poison or the minor, which are often the best first picks. But yeah, see what he does. He has a really good deck here. He could actually go for like a really good Mortar Miner deck. He could go for like a Mortar, Knight, Log, Fire Spirit, um, Spare Gobs, and like one more card. And that would be a really good deck, but kind of awkward. I'm going to have to go for like a Mighty Miner right now. Yeah, I'm just going to take the Mighty Miner. Pretty good card, but I don't know how that's going to go. Ooh, I see the NATO there. I'm going to take that NATO. I think I need the NATO. Yeah, I'm going to take the NATO because I can't let him have the NATO. If I let him have the NATO, he's going to be able to play Miner on any spot on my tower, but... If I take the NATO, he's going to be forced to play it on the safe spot and I catch it every time because I know it's on the safe spot. So, yeah, he's not going to let me activate King for like a good minute. See what he does here, though. Might go Queen or something. If I was him, I'd go Queen. Yeah, okay. Queen and then maybe Log, right? Yeah, nice. He's picking really well. I'm just going to go for the Mega Knight Prince right now. I mean, I don't really have anything to hide. Most he can do is like pick an Inferno Tower. Actually, yeah, I think that'd be pretty bad. So I'm going to take the Mortar right now because um, I'm not worried about him taking the Prince or the Mega Knight. That's going to stay in the pick so I can take that later. I'm just going to go for like a Fire Spirit right now because I think it's a pretty good card. He's going to have to take the Wall Breakers now that I took the Mortar. So and that's going to kind of force him to like take the Wall Breakers and have a pretty good defense against it. Fire Spirit kind of like full counters if you know how to place it. So yeah, I think I'm okay right now. Um, He might go Knight and like Cannon or something. Knight Wallbreaker's cannon spare gobs and his deck is actually kind of good. Okay, bomb tower for cannon, not bad. But yeah, Knight spare gobs and Wallbreaker's and his deck is actually really good. That's like one of the best decks you can make in this. But yeah, I'm gonna have to find a way to like break through it. I do have a NATO and Mega Knight Prince, so I think I'm okay. But yeah, just gonna go for a Mega Knight right about now, and then gonna go for a Prince, and then last card I could go Cannon Core. 
I could even go for, uh, I don't know, delivery? Nah, too much defense. I need some more offense. Yeah, I'm going to go for the Ram Rider last card because I think Ram Rider is really good. Yeah, it should pair up well with the Mega Knight and I should be able to get damage. I could also go for Balloon, but he has a Queen Poison and a Bomb Tower, so I don't really feel safe playing Balloon. Balloon's not really that good in this game mode. A lot of air counters. Um, if you have a Monk, though, you can probably rock like a solid Balloon deck with a Miner, but... Since none of us have a Monk here, um, that wouldn't really be good to pick the Balloon. Okay, see what he does. Might go for, like, Spare Gobs. I'd go for Spare Gobs if I was him. Yeah, that was a really good deck. Nice. Okay, I'm just going to go for the Ram Rider and just going to pray that I can win the game because this is going to be so hard. I think he has a decent matchup here. Matter of fact, I think he has a really good matchup. I just wanted to play MK Prince, so I ended up having, like, a really bad matchup, but I'll try my best. Going to give him the good luck and just going to wait. Um... I'm going to Mortar first play to bait something out. Yeah, just going to... Okay, going to play it in the middle. I was going to play it on the normal spot, but he split wall breakers. So I'm going to play it in the middle. Just go for a Knight. Yo, wait. I can actually starting hand him because he played a Knight. I'm going to go for a Prince the back. Then I'm going to go for a Mega Knight the bridge. And he's not going to have his mini tank to defend this, right? So I think I get a lot of damage here. Yo, wait. Hopefully this works. Because as an expo player, I know that if you don't have a knight in cycle for like matchups like these, you just kind of automatically get rolled. Wait, really bad spare gobs. Oh my god. I'm going to NATO? Okay, he only has wall breakers to pull it back. He's back to knight, but he has no elixir. Yo, that's guaranteed damage. Nice. Yo, that's so much damage. Oh my god, I'll take that. I'm going to keep doing that over and over again. Because, I mean, he's not going to have a knight for like defense every time. I can definitely out cycle it once in a while. So, yeah, just going to have to be careful. I can't let him like kind of have the control of the game though he can still win from this spot because i don't really have a big spell and he has a minor poison deck with a queen so gonna have to watch out but i'm gonna phoenix in the back here to cycle probably gonna queen the back or like a poison or something on the phoenix poison okay would be nice if i could just go for like a prince the back and then mk before the phoenix went away but i'm just gonna mortar right here put it into one poison tick but doesn't matter oh he kind of messed up the bomb tower he's not playing the best right now really bad bomb tower and spare gobs so yeah Okay, let's go for the spare gobs on the mortar. That's going to help him out a lot. I'm going to prince the back. Then I'm going to do the same thing again, because why not? I'm going to do this, and then I'm going to nato the prince and the queen. Because I feel like that's good. Oh, really good kite. No, that was actually so amazing. I'll give it to him. That was really good. I'm not sure if he's back to spare gobs, but if not, he might have to log the prince or something to not let it hit the queen. That way he's going to be able to get back to a second ability. Oh, he's going to minor wall breakers with this, I think, because he had a queen down on the field, so definitely back to wall breakers by now. I'm going to mighty minor on it, then I'm going to go for fire spirit, then I'm going to nato everything back. No, I missed a wall breaker. Oh my god, that's annoying. Okay, I went for the phoenix on the queen early because I didn't want him to pop the ability on the mighty minor, which is good. Okay, he's probably going to knight this. I'm going to MK in the back. Okay, really good MK. Yo, this might work. This might actually end up working. I'm going to go for a prince in the back at 10 elixir. Probably should have done it sooner because the prince is going to be 10 miles away. That was actually not very good. But I'm going to go for a nato right now. Okay, pretty good nato. That's going to splash on the queen. One more. Nice. Oh, the queen's going to stay on the field. That's so annoying. Queen doesn't really die. So that's really annoying. He's kind of getting the momentum on me. I'm going to go for MK in the back again. I'm going to make sure to not play my prince like really far back this time around. I'm kind of learning as I'm playing. This is kind of weird. I've never played a deck like this before, and I'm kind of, like, learning things about this deck. Alright, uh, if the Phoenix gets on the Bomb Tower, I can Ram Rider, right? Nah, I can't Ram Rider right now. I probably could, but, like, that'd be really bad. Gonna Mighty in the back, not back to Miner, so I don't really have to worry about a Miner on my tower. I'm gonna Ram in the back, then I'm gonna MK at the bridge. See if this works. I've been playing a Prince, but hopefully this works. Um, gonna NATO? Okay. The natives have kind of been paying off, but I don't know what that ability was. I kind of panic popped my ability. I thought the ability was going to hit the queen, which is why I popped it so soon. But yeah, kind of a bad ability. Mortar is going to instantly die, so I'm going to have to Phoenix, then I'm going to have to Prince. Mine are always going to be in the back because he has stuff supporting it. So Miner in the back actually makes a lot of sense compared to like a Miner in the front. Because if he plays it in the front, then I can just MK on the Wallbreakers and the Miner or the Knight and the Miner. Like depends on what he has coming at me, but yeah. 
that wouldn't really be very good um okay triple elixir so this is my time to shine i have to get damage here i literally have to or i'll lose the game i'm gonna mortar opposite lane oh i'm gonna ram rider too to block the bomb tower i think he's gonna bomb tower on the mortar yeah let's go for the bomb tower not bad okay i don't want to nade all that i'm just gonna pop my ability here oh the knight goes back what i'm gonna fire spirit on the spear gobs and yeah they should die then i'm gonna mk on the queen wait this is kind of looking promising uh ram rider okay then i'm gonna nato here oh i hit the spare gobs nice 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 yo yo i'm gonna keep going okay i need to get to a ram rider i need to get to a ram rider i need a ram rider back like right now ram rider uh okay i'm gonna nato oh bad bomb tower wait 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 wait, wait. really bad bomb tower oh my god ram's not gonna die he's back to log now but the log's not gonna full counter the ram get to the tower yes oh dude that was so clutch at the end nice the ram rider kind of won me the game i think he let the prince go because he saw the ram rider connect that was so good all right so that's gonna put me in ultimate champion bit of a horrible win rate 77 i thought it was an 80 yikes okay yeah not bad for first day i guess so it's pretty good but yeah last game was kind of boring so i'm not gonna put that in love you guys though bye